our topic right now is dealing with perimeter. Little visual uh, topic for some of you. So you can actually doodle and draw a picture of what's happening. Different objects can take on different shapes, but in general, the perimeter is what we call the measure of the distance around that particular object. I have up here a triangle and a rectangle. Uh, don't even worry about the letters that are up there. But basically, just the fact that the perimeter would be like getting a fence or an edging. The fact that it's the distance around the object. Sometimes you can see it as a formula. With a triangle, for instance, perimeter is A plus B plus C. Add the three sides of that triangle. For a rectangle here, the formula would be that the perimeter equals two lengths plus two widths. Literally, you add all four sides for a rectangle. They don't quite call it a perimeter when you're dealing with a circle. Big fancy name, circumference. Circumference of a circle. Remember for a circle, there are a couple key words you need to know. Radius is the distance from the center on out, and the diameter is the distance all the way across that circle right through the center. Circumference is pi times the diameter. Pi is an irrational number, goes off for forever, but we usually, if we're making computations, we usually use an approximation of 3.14. Always check with your instructor to know whether you want to use more decimal places or just 3.14 for an approximation for pi. Let's take a look at an example. You have a walking track. It's 8 feet up, 15 feet, has a little bit of a curve to it so you don't get bored, and then back at the starting point. And you want to find the perimeter. You like to maybe get some edging, some mulch, some flowers. You need to know the distance around that particular walking track. You can break it down into shapes that you do recognize. The fact that you have sort of a rectangle, three sides of a rectangle, and then a half circle. So circumference of the whole circle would be pi times the diameter. And the diameter is 8 feet because it's sort of like this, just sort of whoop, gets sort of moved right over. So the circumference of the whole entire circle, if we had one, would be 25.12 uh, feet. We need to cut that in half because we only have half of the circle. We're not going around the whole circle. And we add that to 15 and 15 which is 30, and another 8 is 38. So 38 feet and 12.56 feet, again, that's the value we got when we cut the whole circle in half, gives us 50.56, 50 and 50, 56 hundredths of a foot. And I underlined the units there to remind us that they are in feet, if they were in inches or miles, even if we were in the metric system. The fact that Perimeter and circumference is all one unit, uh, not square units, not cube units, but just one single unit, whatever you start off with. All right. Remember, even if you have a shape that you're not quite familiar with, always go back to the shapes that you do know how to find the distance around. Perimeter, or in the case of a circle, circumference. You can do it.